Hello, I'm Rex Childhouse, and I'm redubbing this uh, because I evidently had microphone problems that I didn't detect in the original process. Today is Monday, July 8th, 2024, and this trip on the Yosemite Mountain and Sugar Pine Railroad was done on May 24th, 2024, which is a Friday. And what had ha this is this facility, this uh, this train locomotive uh, park museum whatever is uh, just south of Yosemite National Park and we had stayed in the town just south of it and I forget the name anyways uh, the uh, day prior to this we were on in the Yosemite National Park uh, I purchased lunch at one of the food concessionaires there I have a gluten allergy food allergy uh, wheat rye barley and uh, supposedly they could handle it we watched them they did everything right and uh, half an hour later I was sick so uh, during this video I am really not feeling good at all uh, but they were non-refundable tickets we did not we do not plan to be back in the area if, if we get lucky we can get back there but uh, we had no plans to get into the area again so we took uh, the the railroad and, and uh, really nice you're gonna see how this thing runs it's on a 1913 Shea a locomotive made by Lima and uh, the way a Shea works is it's a uh, kind of interesting engine when you look at it the boiler is off on one side uh, the pistons which are vertical or almost vertical are off on the other side and that's to balance the engine the depot is a really nice little facility and uh, Sheila I think the whatever the woman who handled our tickets because I was not feeling well uh, was really really helpful with us there was a couple of different school groups ahead of us so we uh, were tangling up with kids and um, the, the property is interesting this was a logging operation uh, prior to the end of the logging area and uh, now it's been reconfigured for a uh, tourist event and this is the Shea coming in. From here I'm going to let the uh, video go and make some noise. Well, that's the Shea. Uh, when we were up at Roaring Camp, we rode a Shea. Yeah. See how the things are turning on the side? Yeah. This is a geared engine. When did we ride it? Roaring Camp, Becky. Oh, got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the uh, engineer, the conductor, the, correctly, the conductor is talking, I'm going to let the video play. Here's some detailed pictures of the Shea. And as I said, it's kind of a offset engine. The boiler's on one side, the drive pistons are on the other side. The drive pistons are almost in a vertical mode, and they drive these uh, crankshafts, and the sides of the drive wheels are geared and uh, you can put a gear on the axle of these these locomotives and then put a receiving gear in the middle of the track and run up some very very steep grades with these these are very powerful very slow engines so you aren't going to see this thing go real fast but it can pull a lot and uh, they're a lot of fun we were on the roaring camp uh, Shea up in northern california near santa Santa Clara, uh, and it, up in Northern California, uh, when one of our daughters graduated college, a really interesting ride. This is uh, this the Shays are just interesting engines, very very powerful engines.
Ninja. This is uh, redub, redub, obviously. Uh, we are in the National Forest just south of Yosemite National Park. The National Forest people are working on doing repairs uh, and cleanup. There is a fair amount of damage to the area, and uh, it's been over a long period of time. And they're, they're trying to maintain it, and they're doing a pretty darn good job.
area for about 15 minutes. So when the train does come to a full and complete stop, feel free to get up and check out the Azusa Creek picnic area here. And when it is time to get back on board, number 15 will ring its bell and I will call all aboard once more. Again, we'll be, we'll be here about 15 minutes. Oh, so when the train stops, feel free to get up and get off. Here are some of the still shots that uh, I took before, during, and after our ride on the Yosemite Mountain and Sugar Pine Railroad uh, just south of Yosemite National Park. A really good ride. The ride is like 15 minutes, uh, 20 minutes out to that picnic ground. Uh, then you spend 15 minutes or so at the picnic ground, then 15 to 20 minutes uh, back uh, to the depot and they run several trains a day um, I would give them a call ahead of time to see if there's uh, schools uh, whatever um, scheduled and 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 uh, then you participate as the way you want to go there is a museum so to speak on the ground uh, in a cabin uh, a lot of stuff just uh, put up on, on display you know somebody gave it to them they found it whatever and uh, they put it up and not all of its railroad related but a fair amount of it is how did the area survive what did they need to survive in the area what what were the tools what were the equipment what were the items of convenience that they had uh, overall uh, I thought it was a really nice ride my wife enjoyed it we happen to love trains 
so that was not an issue. And uh, there was uh, some fairly decent signage running around uh, on the museum explaining what was happening. I wouldn't say it was great. Uh, if I was in the area again, I would actually spend the money to ride uh, the Yosemite Mountain and Sugar Pine Railroad one more time without a problem. This time I would hopefully not have issues with my food allergy. I would take uh, some snacks. I would actually get off the train at that picnic area, uh, walk around and uh, enjoy it. This is a really nice uh, outside of Yosemite National Park, not associated with the park. It's a uh, private venture and uh, it was uh, totally enjoyable. And we're back uh, in, in the uh, recap. Uh, we're back. Our, our day here was uh, very enjoyable. It was uh, thin overcast to start and then as you can see the uh, we start getting more and more direct light. Uh, it was a nice day. It wasn't real warm, uh, wasn't hot, wasn't cold. It was just a really nice day. This is a fun ride. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope, uh, hope you get the opportunity to do this and sorry about the audio problems. I'm trying to correct those. I'm not sure what exactly happened. Thanks for watching.